An employer recently discovered his mate's overspending habits. Using an MRT card for transportation and buying drinks on her day off, which the employer paid for, family spending. The employer is now concerned about the excessive amount and wants to know how to address this issue. I found out my helper spends quite a lot on traveling with the MRT card on her day off, going to all different places. And she also spends money on buying drinks using the card, which I pay for as part of our family spending, he explained in a Facebook support group for helpers and employers. He added that he had also advised their helper to bring her own water instead of buying drinks, but he was unsure how to handle the issue of transportation costs. The employer's dilemma raises an essential question for other employers, what should they do about their helper's day of overspending? Though some employers do provide their helpers with a weekly allowance to cover transportation and other expenses, the Ministry of Manpower advises. Employers and foreign domestic workers FDWs are encouraged to discuss and agree on the terms and conditions of employment at the start of the employment relationship. This includes overseas leave arrangements, such as who pays for travel expenses. If it is not stated in the employment contract, you can come to a mutual agreement with your FDW on who should pay. To minimize disputes, this agreement should be in writing. To avoid misunderstandings or conflicts, employers should have an open and honest conversation about their expectations for their day of spending with their helpers. Employers can also consider setting a budget for their helpers' day off expenses or providing them with a prepaid transportation cut to avoid overspending. By setting clear expectations and providing reasonable support, Employers can ensure a positive and harmonious relationship with their foreign domestic helpers. In conclusion, Singapore employers should be mindful of the costs associated with their FDW's day off and find ways to discuss and agree on appropriate spending and activities. Open communication and a written agreement can help ensure mutual understanding and maintain a positive working relationship. In other news, an employer whose helper wanted to travel overseas on her days off took to social media to ask whether she was legally allowed to and if he was liable to pay her medical fees. In a post to a Facebook support group for helpers and employers alike, the man wrote, As employer, can anyone advise whether it has the legal rights of my helper to travel to Johor Bahru or Batam on her off day? Read more about it here. Employer asks if his mate is legally allowed to go to JB or Batam on her days off and if he's liable to pay for her medical should she get injured.